What's going on guys? It's your boy Scrubby here back again with another video. Hope you guys are having a great day. I know I am and today I wanted to talk about this funny article I found about a uh, crypto trading hamster that low-key probably is doing better than most people's uh, trading portfolios. Just goes to show there's a whole lot of luck involved in trading. Let's talk about it. Nice rack in her ass Brazilian just turned 21 but my bank's a million. All right, so I think everybody and their mom has had somebody to come up to them and be like, yo, bro, I trade crypto and like I'm making bands. And I'm sure chances are there's a possibility that's true. But a lot of people love to be like, yeah, I'm just some massive, insane, super genius at picking crypto. And some of you are. I'm not denying that those people exist. But there's also a possibility that you're just about as lucky as a hamster could be. The hamster that trades cryptocurrencies and profits. Jokes aside, I know there's a lot of people out there that are great traders off of hard work, but it is also hilarious to me that there's a mouse or a hamster out there that's doing like low-key better than the S&P 500 is while trading cryptocurrencies. I think that just goes to show the kind of bubble that we're in right now. There's nothing wrong with being invested. Trust me, I got stocks, I got some crypto. That being said, you know you're in a bubble when a hamster can literally be averaging 23% a year returns on their money by just buying whatever hamsters feel like buying. I feel like this is actually a more random way than just flipping a coin. Like, this is the equivalent of doing it the most random way humanly possible. You know, his owner is happy though, bro. He's like, yeah, I've got a profitable pet. I didn't think it was going to. You think a hamster is just going to be something you got to take care of. But a uh, low-key homie might be getting me my retirement. Like just some funny situation where that's his financial advisor is his hamster. You do have to give credit to the hamster where it's due though. And on top of just being a good trader, he also does it live, which uh, adds a little bit of pressure to the situation. I wonder if when he makes a bad trade, like the chat starts going crazy on him. LMAO, you suck, oh noob. The German hamster trades cryptocurrencies in a rigged container known as the Gox Box and has done so since June 2021. The box contains two tunnels and based on the hamster's choice of tunnels, the specific cryptocurrencies get bought and sold. While all of this might sound haphazard and random, Mr. Gox is getting results and as of November 10th, 2021, he boasts a portfolio with a time-weighted return of 28.42%, not bad. Mr. Gox gets live streamed every day and performs better than the S&P 500 over the same time span off in. Think of the iconic hamster's gog box as a cryptocurrency trading office. The hamster starts by selecting one of 30 different coins, and once he's made his selection, he decides between two tunnels. One tunnel triggers it to buy more, and the other one says to sell the chosen token. I love this, bro. Like, oh my goodness, cryptocurrency has been on a tear. If you've been owning crypto, you've been doing pretty well for yourself, but how funny is it that you can literally be a hamster and have a time-weighted return of 28.42%? To give you guys an idea of how good that is, I think the industry average of, like, a decent average return has been 7% for a really long time. Like, that's how much the S&P 500 usually goes up every year. So the fact that this hamster's out here with 28% percent in like not even a year june 2021 a couple months is really hilarious man he's really out here showing wall street traders who's boss yes uh i work for goldman sachs and i get bonuses because i average 21 percent a year <laughs> that's three times the recommended average for a performance of a portfolio and the hamster's like awesome bro that sucks you're seven percent behind lmao I love that he's streaming it too. Obviously, it's a pretty good way to like, you know, get people involved. But on top of that, if I can make one suggestion to Mr. Cox's owner over here, okay? What you should do is make it so a portion of the donation and subs goes to his portfolio. Because like, his portfolio is kind of small right now, you know? But I think it would be awesome. Like, let's say he has whatever, 200 subs. That's like what? a thousand dollars a month imagine if this hamster after a year is trading with like 12 grand a day then it's gonna get spicy right now it's a couple hundred bucks let your subs fund his like trading i think it would be hilarious dude imagine this becomes a thing it takes off on twitch and this hamster is just trading with like 3.7 million dollars that would be the funniest meme of all time the crypto hamster that can move markets you know somewhere out there somebody's tracking this and like just copying the hamster for sure. Like somebody out there has this guy's live stream up and as he's buying and selling is doing the exact same thing.
What are some of the top cryptocurrencies owned by the hamster? Ripple, Tron, and Ether. His portfolio contains 390 worth of euros, and his owner buys and sells in 20 euro increments. What plans does Mr. Gox's owner have for the future? He's exploring ways to get the hamster greater control over his choices. This will include allowing Mr. Gox to choose buying amounts as interest in his live streams and subsequent revenues increases. Oh, hell yeah, baby. They're doing the plan. Oh, my God. Crypto hamster is going to be rolling around with a fat bankroll. This is going to be hilarious, dude. Forget gambling streams. Anybody out there that loves to watch Twitch streamers gamble, forget that. I'm telling you, take that sub money you were given to the people that are gambling. Give it to the hamster. It'll be more entertaining because at least then if the hamster becomes a billionaire, we can all laugh. If the hamster becomes a billionaire, though, like we really have have to rethink this whole trading thing right like we've got to tax it differently if a hamster can somehow become a billionaire i don't want that to be the case but like dude if this hamster somehow manages to like go brazy and do 700 percent returns with a substantial amount of money that would just make me think of anybody who says they're like a professional stock trader that doesn't do as good as a hamster is just a meme oh that's cool man you average seven percent a year that's dope you know this hamster that did 800 percent a month that was crazy in September 2021, Mr. Gox's portfolio reached an all-time high of $580, and it represented a 50% rise in the portfolio's profits in just three months. That said, more recent events, including a crypto sell-off, have revealed chinks in the fuzzy financial expert's armor. That said, the hamster's owner says Mr. Gox says is recognizing that profit is a profit. The tiny rodent's caretaker reports that Mr. Gox is happy to see some of his investments finally pay off, considering the hamster's performance has outstripped both the S&P 500 and Warren Buffett, we think the fuzz mall may be onto something. What if this is how we figure out that hamsters have been hyper intelligent forever and like G Force was just an actual documentary instead of an animated film? Somewhere out there is a team of highly trained rodents that's like job is to go out there and prevent crime and they just do it for doing it. They don't even want the credit because like Mr. Gox is out here trading cryptocurrency. He's got this scheme to get a bunch more money involved once he raises the funds. Is he going to start a space company too? That's what billionaires do these days. I'm telling you, if Mr. Gox becomes becomes a billionaire, I want hamster-funded space travel. But you don't have human astronauts. No. Imagine how funny it would be if we get hamsters to Mars first because Mr. Gox uses all of his crypto trading money to do it. I know this is a long shot. We're very off topic from the original point of the video, but tell me that would not be one of the greatest memes of all time. Picture it, Elon Musk and all of his hundreds of billions of dollars and Tesla and everything versus one fuzzy boy who would win. And the fuzzy boy wins, that would just be the greatest end of all time. Until they inevitably rise up and outpace us, they can just outbreed us, let's be honest. If hamsters became too intelligent, they can definitely, definitely have like 50 billion of them before we can have 9 billion of us. And I don't like our odds. I think I could take a bunch of hamsters, but if they do this strategically and hoard right, then we're just over with. Like, if, if they really, really come with the heat, what are we going to do? Anyways, guys, I think that's going to do it for this random rant about hamsters taking over the world. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, I'd really appreciate you taking a second to press the like button. Let me know in the comment section down below what you thought. And of course, subscribe if you're new. If you really enjoyed, you can help me out by clicking the link to the intro song down below, along with a link to my podcast, The Scuffed Cast, or you could use code SCRUBBY at the G Fuel checkout. Great way to get a discount. Helps me out. I'd really appreciate it. And last but certainly not least, I did go ahead and put some of my story times up on Spotify so you guys can listen to them offline, or if you don't want to watch the gameplay, whatever it may be, that link's at the top of the description. Be sure to check it out. And uh, yeah, on that note, don't get anyone pregnant. If you do, make sure they're hot, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time. I'm out. Peace.